Good morning, kids. I wanted to uh, start off by saying thank you to all of those of you that are doing their work, or you know, at least trying to do their work. I really appreciate it. Um, there will be some announcements coming up shortly regarding your promotional ceremony, etc. Otherwise, by now, I think most, if not all of you, know how to do your assignments, even if perhaps, for whatever reason, you're not doing them. Regardless, uh, this message is not about your assignments. It's not about how to do your work. It's simply about how to take attendance, okay? Uh, because some of you um, are still perhaps struggling a little bit with how to check in for the day or make sure you're being counted as present. So let me show you. First, you open your browser, right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your portal. Um, when you're at your portal, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press log in, as you might imagine, right? Now, I'm a teacher, um, so I don't see this message, but as a student, what you're gonna see, you're gonna see a message somewhere around here that says, thank you for logging in and taking attendance, uh, blah, 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 it's gonna say that. So you know that you're logged in here, but that's actually only part one. That's only one of the things you have to do to be marked present for attendance. What you're then gonna do to make sure you get the second part of the credit for attendance is you're gonna go right here. You're gonna see your Office 365. If for any reason it's not here, which it would be, remember that you'll also find it under apps. You can go to apps and go to Office 365. Otherwise, it should be here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Now, when it takes me to Office 365, it might ask me to log back in again with my account. I'm actually gonna stay signed in here, because why not? It'll refresh every week or every month anyways. Now here you're gonna see a bunch of apps. Now me, um, I see it right here. Here's the Teams app. That's the one I'm gonna wanna click on. If for any reason it's not in here, you can always hit All Apps. And again, you're gonna find the Teams app. It's the blue one with the two little stick people and a T on it, Teams. It says Teams, right? We can all read. So you're gonna click the Teams app and it's gonna open up a new tab in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so far so good. Like everybody's with me, right? It's not, not that complicated. Um, <clears throat> so now here I see all my teams, right? This is, this is every single team. Here's the team that says eighth grade team. You're not gonna see all the teams that I do, right? Like I see all my classes and all the departments, but you're definitely gonna have the eighth grade team. Every single one of you is on the eighth grade team if you're one of my students. Uh, if you're not an eighth grader watching this, then of course you'll see the seventh or sixth grade team. Click on your grade level team. Now here, notice um, this thumbs up um, from the student doesn't mean anything, right? What we wanna do first is we wanna make sure that we're looking here at the two tabs. Uh, one tab says general, we're in the general tab right now, it says it right there, that's by default, but we wanna make sure we click on the daily attendance tab. Now before I do that, yes, the general tab's important. This is where all announcements and events and everything, everything that's not attendance is posted here. So of course, make sure you look at this periodically. You know, bare minimum, I mean, once a day is, is, you know, nothing. But what you should really be doing, of course, is checking in more or less every couple minutes, maybe every hour throughout the course of the day to see if there's anything new or updated here uh, since, you know, this is a regular school day. Anywho, we're going to come here, we're going to click Daily Attendance. And again, all these thumbs up, they don't mean anything. That's not what you're supposed to do. But, oh, look, here's a post. I'm usually going to post this somewhere between maybe 7 and 9 a.m. I've been moving earlier and earlier every day to make sure um, that everybody has an opportunity as soon as they wake up. Now let me read this out loud because I, I think some of you maybe are seeing that I post something, but they don't actually read it. This says, good morning, my children. And I've actually tagged all of you. Everybody in the eighth grade team, you've been tagged in this. So you'll actually get a little notification um, bell right there. Today is Frisbee Monday because starting today, every day is a Frisbee day, the 27th of April. So that, that's important, right? This is how you know you're on the right day. Let me double check my calendar. Yep, today's the 27th of April. So I know this was posted today, today at 6.56 a.m. Mark yourself present by clicking the thumbs up button on this message. Now, to do that, I'm gonna, this is the message, right? Over here, look, thumbs up. Look, here are all the possible reaction icons. Which one am I supposed to click? The thumbs up icon. So I'm gonna click that. Now notice there's three people that have done this correctly. Obviously me, I just did that. But look, Brian, thank you, and Adriana, thank you. Um, surprised you're up this early, but I'm glad you are because you two did this correctly before everybody else did. Let me keep reading. Do not comment below with a thumbs up emoji. That means you don't go here to the reply and put a thumbs up emoji here. 
No, you don't do that. Do not say here. So saying here doesn't do anything. Or do anything else, right? Like some people go here and they start a brand new thread with a thumbs up or, or a here or whatever. Don't do that, right? Some people go back to general and they put a thumbs up here. I don't know how because if you saw this in attendance, I hire you back in general putting a thumbs up there, right? You don't have to do anything extra. Literally, on the message that's posted, come right here and press the thumbs up. That's all you have to do. So let me keep reading. Simply use the reaction toggles, these are the reaction toggles, to give a thumbs up to this post. Thumbs up this post to indicate that you are present. And please be sure to tell your friends to do the same by 11 a.m. and good luck. So again, that's, that's how we know that you're actually doing what you need to be doing. Remember that um, uh, on core days, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, depending on what classes you're in, your Zoom sessions uh, start at roughly 11. Of course, if you have acceleration, it's slightly modified. But in general, if you haven't logged in by 11, then you need to let us know. Um, maybe, maybe then comment down here uh, or back here as to you know, any kind of trouble you might be having logging in by 11. And uh, we'll see if Mr. Stubbs can come over and knock on your door and help give you a wake-up call. Okay? Uh, so that's all I have for you. Um, good luck. I hope you all don't mess this up today.